thought I'd just come on and do a little Christian assembly for you. And we're going to do it on the Lord's Prayer. So I'm going to try and go through it as quickly as possible because it is quite hard to understand. So I'm going to read out the Lord's Prayer. This is from the Bible. And this is what Jesus said um, about how to pray. He was teaching people how to pray. And this is what he wrote. This is what he said, sorry. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, that's eating, and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So it's quite hard to understand some of it. So we know the first line, our father who is in heaven. So that's quite easy to understand. God is in heaven and we are down on earth. Hallowed be thy name. What on earth does hallowed mean? Have a little think. So hallowed actually means respect. So it means we will respect the name of God. And obviously the name of God is also Jesus. So Christians respect the name Jesus. So the next bit is probably the hardest bit to understand. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Wow, that's a difficult one, isn't it? So I will explain this one for you. Thy kingdom come. That just means everything that God is and stands for, everything that he is, which is love, that Christians believe that God is love, a God of love and compassion, that that will come down to earth where we are. Thy kingdom come. God's, God's way of living will come down to us here on earth. Thy will be done. What on earth does that mean? That just means... That everything that God wants to happen will take place here on earth and also in our own lives. That everything that God wants for us, which is always good things, that's what Christians believe, that God wants good things for us, that they will take place on earth as it is in heaven. So we pray that these things will take place on earth as it is like where you live in heaven, God. And also, this is an easy one. Give us today our daily bread. Well, we know that what we've been experiencing in the supermarkets, haven't we? It's been a bit difficult to get hold of things, especially I've got some things to show you here. Who's been having trouble a few weeks ago getting hold of these? Yes, these are essential things, aren't they, that we need? And things like hand soap, again, we've needed this, haven't we, at the moment? And it's been very difficult to get hold of. And we've had a bit of a laugh about it, really. But actually, they were essential things that we needed. Look, you know, great that now we can get hold of these things, thank goodness. But this is where we pray and that Christians believe they can pray to God for the essential things that we need in life. Obviously, that includes food and uh, our homes and our clothes and our families. It's all these things that we can pray for as um, that's what Christians believe. So the next bit and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What are our sins? Well, that's a very old fashioned word, really, but it just means the wrong things that we do. We all kind of go wrong sometimes and we're just asking God to forgive us because we should forgive uh, others as well because God's forgiven us. So we should forgive others. And that's what that means. And forgive us of our sins. So forgive us of the wrong things we've done. But we should also forgive others who, who do wrong things against us. And the next bit, lead us not into temptation. What does temptation mean? That's quite a difficult word, isn't it, as well? Does anybody know? I'll give you a little time just to think about it. So it just means sometimes we want things that look good, but they're not always the best things for us. It's like these, I've got another example here, like these biscuits. 
these are absolutely gorgeous they are from morrison's i do recommend them they are the best chocolate biscuit selection if you've never actually tried these get yourself a box they're not the cheapest of biscuits but they are luxury they're like what you have at christmas really but um sometimes i buy them a bit too often um but if i was to eat i'm quite tempted actually yeah to eat this whole box but do you think if i ate this whole box and i gave in to my temptation that that would actually be good for me yes or no no it wouldn't would it that would not be good for my health if i ate <laughs> this whole box of biscuits so what i'm trying to say with temptation is we are tempted sometimes with the things that look good and look nice but sometimes they're not always the best things and sometimes we do need to turn away from our temptations and turn away from those things that maybe might do us harm in the long run and that's what that is lead us not into temptation lord just help us to turn away from those things that might cause us to go wrong and help us not to envy other people and um, be tempted to, you know, want what other people's got. And then the next line says, and deliver us from evil. Obviously, that means that, Lord, you'll just help us and keep us from harm and keep us from those things that, you know, will harm us. And um, obviously, we've got this virus and Christians have been praying Christians believe in prayer, that we can pray that God will be with us and he'll um, keep us safe. And that's what that means. And the next bit is just really praising God. So for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's just saying that God, the earth and the heaven is your kingdom and you are the power and the glory forever and ever you know God was here before anything was created and he'll always be there so that's what forever and ever means and this is what Christians believe obviously if you're not a Christian you may not believe this and that is fine but I'm just teaching what the Lord pra Lord's prayer is so you can understand it a little bit more um, and just to finish I'm going to read the Lord's prayer in an easy way for you so this is what it would sound like if i wrote it in today's language and then that's the end of this assembly god in heaven how great you are i pray that everything you are love and stand for will come here to earth as it is where you live in heaven i pray god that all you want to happen on earth and in my own life will take place today give us the food and essential things we need I pray, God, you will forget and clear everything that I do wrong, as I then forget and clear what others have done wrong to me. Help me not to hold it against them and to forgive even when it's difficult. Help me not to want things that don't belong to me or are bad for me. Those things no good for me. Just give me the strength, God, to turn away from them. Keep me safe from harm at all times and for everything belongs to you, God. You are great and all powerful forever and ever. Amen. So that's basically what the Lord prayer, Lord's Prayer means. Um, <clears throat> we're going to sing the song, the Lord's Prayer. We sing it in school, so I know you know it really well. So let's just sing that together. Bye, everyone. OK, so now we're going to sing um, the Lord's Prayer. So we sing it in school so you know it really, really well. So sing it with me.
brilliant, everyone. Well done.